Hi everybody. It's time to show you how to use a little bit of this marabou. I've got a basically a brown, brownish olive marabou. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a damsel for you. This is a very fast, easy fly to tie. Very, very effective in all sorts of still water situations. Uh, damsel flies are eaten by fish everywhere. Uh, they're common all over the Americas. And you're going to see a, a couple different ways to use marabou. What I've done is I've already started with our uh, dazzle eyes. You can see that I've got a whole selection here in one of our boxes. <clears throat> this is a brass eye which is going to give this some movement. I'm going to go ahead and take this marabou and I'm going to select one of the feathers. You can either pull it or clip it out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is add my gold wire. I always bend it a little bit here at the at the beginning so that I can just fold it back over and lock it in. The worst thing you want is to start this whole fly get halfway done with it and then your wire just pulls out on you. Go all the way back to where your thread hangs down to the bar. Now we're going to measure out that tail. So you take your marabou and you sweep it back. A lot of guys will lick their fingers. I won't do that today. And you can make this about the length of the shank of your hook up between your fingers and down and you go around about three times. That locks the marabou on top of the hook. Next bring your thread up behind the eye. This is a fast and simple and really effective body and it's just marabou that you're going to cut and waste and throw away anyway. So um, go ahead and save this piece because we're going to use it in just a second. Now I've wrapped the marabou this way I'm going to go counter wrap it if it'll cooperate with some rip wire rib and what this does is this just reinforces that uh, marabou body and makes sure that it's nice and tough so when you start catching all the fish that you're going to catch on this the fish's teeth don't uh, interfere with it now what a guy can do here is you can also lay a little bit on here like this which just adds to uh, the legs of the damsel and I really do like to do that. I'm going to clip that off. Okay, and Then I'm going to just kind of fold this back. This is really going to give it a lot of um, swimmability I call it. Then I'm going to take another little chunk of this like this, not too close to that because there's no frizz on that right next to the barb. And then I'm going to dub that so I'll go around in one direction. I go around a couple times and I figure eight around the eyes that I made. This one needs just a little bit more right there at the head. So it looks nice and uniform and it all tapers right down to a bullet shaped head. Actually I'm kind of being picky by nipping off all these little hairs and all these little fibers. That adds again to the fishability of this. So what we've done here is, is we've created a little damsel that I guarantee you will catch fish and it just takes a minute to make. Um, we've got a tail about the length of the shank of the hook. We've got some legs that are again about the shank of the hook. We've got dazzle eyes which are a Spirit River product and uh, a body that's made out of marabou as well. So we've done three or four key things with marabou. Let me start another fly and I'll show you a couple more tricks. Thanks. Okay, here's another technique that I'd like to show you, and that's how to hackle, uh, particularly a streamer fly or a steelhead or salmon fly, with marabou. What I've done is I've gone ahead, like the damsel, and I've made a marabou tail about the length of the shank. I've counterwound gold wire over the top of a body of marabou. Uh, pink and purple is a very fish catching color, so I've gone ahead and selected out a piece of marabou, as you can see here. And what, what you're going to do here is you're going to basically strip this back 
and expose the stem. This part of the feather right here is what we're going to be wrapping. So you don't need to go too far down on the feather. So we're exposing the top of that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip it. That little part is exactly what I'm going to be tying in. Again, I'll fold that front of that back just a little bit. Now when you wrap this, as you start going around, you want to really stroke these feathers. You got to stroke all these feathers back as you go around. And you really only need to do this probably take two or three wraps when you go around like this. Fold that back a little bit. Take your thread, go through that. Make sure that you've got a lot of that wispiness there, a lot of those feathers go in and clip that real close. Go ahead with three fingers. I'll pinch that down a little where there's a little bit of a nubbin. And I'll, I'll basically create a nice little head. You don't want a really big fat head. Just like this. A couple more little wraps here. And you've got just a very nice kind of streaming uh, basically like a spay um, steelhead fly. So that's another technique that you can use to hackle flies, but you have to use, really use this on bigger on bigger flies. <clears throat> another thing that you can do is you can take a chunk of this instead of tying that in the way I did you can take a piece of this marabou like this and Make sure your tips are fairly even. Tie it directly in over the eye of the hook. In fact, that's the first thing you do. You can go back, do your bo tail, body, rib. When you come forward, you're up here. Take this and fold it back on itself like that and wrap some thread over that folded part. It creates a pretty small little head and it actually will add a lot more fibers to the overall streamer. The third thing you can do is, kind of the lazy way to do it, is just lay this on top like this, wrap it around once or twice, do that for underneath and maybe on the sides if you'd like, and you can mix colors, which again is pretty nice. And um, you're going to come out with kind of a spay, wispy type of fly that's really going to flutter and move in the water. It's a big attractant to a fish. So anyway, that's five, six, seven ways to use marabou. Uh, and I hope this will help you in your endeavors to catch fish and the art of fly tying. We also ask that you support Spirit River and our many dealers throughout the country that sell our product line. Please ask for Spirit River at your local dealers. We very much appreciate it. I hope this video helps you. Thank you very much.